Hey there, fellow traders. Welcome back to Insider Financial. I'm Alex Carlson. In this video, we will recap today's stock market action and discuss our game plan for tomorrow. But first, we have a brand new profile for you to research immediately for Wednesday's session. Pull up XTKG immediately. XTKG is a company that operates in the two hottest sectors driving the market right now, Bitcoin and AI. X3 Holdings is a global provider of digital solutions and technology services spanning diverse industries. The company operates across diversified business segments in digital technologies, crypto mining operations, renewable energy, and agriculture technologies. X3 Holdings is headquartered in Singapore and has subsidiaries and operations globally. We all know that energy efficient Bitcoin mining is a super hot sector to be in right now. Since the beginning of the year, XTKG has released a slew of news surrounding their mining operations that have been able to get investors excited. Just last week, they announced the signing of a term sheet for multi-year purchase agreements with a leading supplier of Bitcoin mining equipment. X3 Holdings will purchase the next generation of Avalon Bitcoin miners in tranches using a combination of cash and vendor credits. By 2026, 30,000 Bitcoin miners are projected to be purchased. The company said on X last week, our management team is gearing up for a strategic meeting to discuss a potential issuance of stock dividends. Stay tuned as we crunch numbers and plot the course for shareholder success. According to Finviz, the company has just a $3.46 million market cap, book per share of $27.32, and cash per, uh, cash per share of $1.31. It's trading at just 0.34 times sales, 0.03 times book, and 0.57 times cash. So the stock looks to be an undervalued situation here at just $0.74 cents and even at $0.71 cents here in the after hours. To read our full report on XTKG, click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Well, guys, uh, the big news of the day was Bitcoin. Uh, it topped a new all-time high uh, Tuesday morning, but the cryptocurrency has since sold off as it dropped 10% record, since recording its new high. The digital currency momentarily surpassed its November 2021 high point and jumped up to $69,100 at 10, 10 a.m. Eastern, but has since moved down to, as at this time of recording, $63,000. $1,290. The drop in price can be attributed to large block sell orders that were hovering near $70,000. Coindesk reported that Binance displayed, displayed big sell orders grouped together at these key technical levels, with more than 300 Bitcoin worth roughly $20 million set to be sold at $69,000 and over 500 Bitcoin slated for sale at $70,000. It, it didn't help mu uh, Mara much, uh, Marathon Digital Holdings. A uh, company said it mined about 833 Bitcoins in February compared to 1,084 Bitcoins in the previous month. Uh, the operational challenges that commenced in January continued into February and reduced our operational hash rate and our Bitcoin production for the month. The average Bitcoin produ produced per day was 28.7 Bitcoin versus 35 Bitcoin in January. Marathon's Bitcoin holdings were 16,930 Bitcoin, total cash and BT as of uh, $1.5 billion as of February 29th. For Wednesday, the big uh, market news will be at 10 a.m. when we get Fed Chair Jay Powell's testimony, 
before Congress and the JOLTS jobs openings report right at 10 a.m. The Fed closely watches this report, so it'll be market moving. Market will be looking for dovish or hawkish tone from Powell. I think that with the market near the highs and Bitcoin hitting an all-time high today, that's a sign that there's plenty of liquidity in the system and Powell might come out hawkish. We shall see. In terms of stocks making the news, uh, CRWD CrowdStrike Holdings uh, stock was up 15% in late trading after the cybersecurity firm posted fourth quarter results and guidance that topped expectations. For the period ending January 31st, uh, CrowdStrike earned an adjusted 95 cents per share on $845 million in revenues. Analysts had expected the company to earn 82 cents per share on $839 million in revenues. Zscaler, Sentinel One, Fortinet, and several other cybersecurity stocks rose on the back of the results. Uh, C- President CEO George Kurtz, who uh, was also the co-founder, said CrowdStrike delivered an exceptionally strong and record fourth quarter with net new uh, ARR growth accelerating 27% year over year, reaching a new high of $282 million and ending ARR growing 34% year over year to reach $3.44 billion. Looking ahead, CrowdStrike expects to earn adjusted $0.89 cents to $0.90 cents per share and generate revenue between $902 million and $905 million during the fiscal first quarter. And also expecting adjusted earnings of $0.82 cents per share and $898 million in sales. On a full-year basis, CrowdStrike says expects to earn $3.77 and $3.97 per share on an adjusted basis with sales between $3.92 billion and $3.989 billion, and also expecting just $3.76 per share in earnings and $3.94 billion in sales. CrowdStrike also said it was buying cybersecurity startup Flow Security. The acquisition, which will be paid predominantly in cash, is expected to close in the first quarter. A uh, big runner today was AI. Uh, AISP was up 200%. Uh, Airship AI announced significant sole source contract award within the Department of Justice for Acropolis Enterprise Video and Data Management uh, Platform. First agency uh, within the Department of Justice. Department of Justice to deploy Acropolis in FedRAMP environment and positions the company for additional awards. So it's in with the Department of Justice. This is indeed positive and why the stock was a big runner today. From last night's video, I talked about uh, PAY was up uh, 20% today. Uh, NYCB uh, was up 17%. Play green, not red. You know, it opened here, uh, you know, in the green and rallied all day. So again, we're not dip buying on these red days. So just play the momentum right now. Trade it. Don't own it. Uh, Soundhound I, AI said last night this was indeed bearish price action. Uh, look, was looking toppy and uh, sold off today. So hopefully you guys book profits uh, in Soundhound. Uh, also, other AI names were weak across the board. Uh, VKTX uh, talked about this one uh, last month uh, on this big weight loss news, uh, a potential competitor to Ozempic. So again, uh, great trial results, and that's why we're consolidating up here near the highs. Uh, the break uh, below 75 will negate the, the bullish thesis. So uh, again, above 75, we are still bullish. Uh, TJT was up 12% on good earnings today. So again, uh, put out great uh, numbers and the call went really well uh, this uh, this morning. Insider buying, three names with uh, big insider buying. First up is GoGo, had a $2.4 million buy. Uh, uh, BKKT, uh, ICE buying $2.7 million worth of stock. And LIFW uh, CEO uh, did a $500,000 buy. Uh, the last time he did a $500,000 buy, uh, the stock spiked all the way to 16. So put this one on your radar screen. Uh, this one has a history of spiking on insider buying. And then for tomorrow, I will also be uh, uh, scanning pre-market. Uh, if I see anything else, I will let subscribers know. But our main focus for Wednesday is XTKG. Make sure you read our full report and do your research.
At Insider Financial, we put stocks on your radar with the potential for outsized moves. As I repeatedly stated, there are always opportunities in the markets daily. The important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding the momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. To get our small cap reports, we cover low floats, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, AI stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube or you can sign up on insiderfinancial.com. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Finally, thanks to EDM media for sponsoring this video on xtkg insider financial and i are not investment advisors this video does not provide investment advice always do your research make your own investment decisions or consult with your nearest financial advisor this video is not a solicitation or recommendation to buy sell or hold securities this video is our opinion is meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice past performance is not indicative of future performance thanks for joining me today on insider financial Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. This is Alex Carlson signing off. Bye-bye.